hello so today we would be studying the different parts of the body of the scapula so as i have already told you there are two surfaces three borders three angles and four fossa if we talk about the surfaces of the scapula first of all we will be talking about the surfaces of the scapula there are two surfaces one is costal and the another is dorsal costal is the anterior side of the scapula which is concave in nature and smooth as well and if we talk about the dorsal surface which is the posterior part of the scapula which i have drawn here this is divided into infraspinous and supraspinous by the scapular spine okay so these are the uh, major things about the uh, surfaces of the scapula now uh, we would be talking about the borders of a scapula okay so as you can see here superior border on the superior sides okay lateral border on the lateral side and the medial border on the medial side so there is no complexity in it you can easily identify the borders now coming to the angles angles also we can locate here this is superior angle this is inferior angle and this is uh, lateral angle sorry this is lateral angle superior inferior and lateral so easy to identify now coming to the fossa first of all supraspinous fossa we can locate here supraspinous fossa supraspinous fossa is concave in nature and supraspinatus muscle arises from here okay now if we talk about infraspinous fossa what is infraspinous fossa you can locate here infraspinous fossa and infraspinatus muscle arises from here another fossa is glenoid fossa it is a, a shallow cavity for articulation okay next fossa we have is subscapular fossa subscapular fossa is basically located on the costal surface that is the anterior surface but here i have located it here but it is located on the anterior surface subscapularis muscle arises from here okay so i have covered all the parts of the body here and in the next lecture we would be studying about the processes of a scapula all the processes of a scapula thank you very much